Hello and welcome to Dishonored, the definitive edition. I'm doing this one for two reasons. The first, because it's one of my favorite stealth games of all time. And the second, because my friend Monique requested it specifically. Hi, Monique. I think we're, we're both going to enjoy this one. And I promise you that I will get back to Alien Isolation eventually. Let's do this. New game. Gonna put it on easy so we don't get bottlenecked. And I think the brightness is okay. Loading. Returning home. You have just returned from a journey of several months, visiting the other nations in the Empire to ask for aid in dealing with the Rat Plague. That sounds unpleasant. You must deliver their diplomatic response to the Empress, whom you serve as Lord Protector. Thank you for the background. Loading screen. Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else. And the spy master was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. I'm coming home, but I doubt I have good news. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Yep, called it. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. At the gazebo. Okay. Hey, Jeff. It's been what's good up? traveling with you, Corvo. <laughs> He's like, fuck off. You know what to do next time? Yes, yes. The pressure was too low. All these new machines are touching. What's Just going on in here, dude? Crazy. Sokolov's changed everything again, and we don't know what the hydraulics can do now. We've got him here today doing a portrait. If there's a time to try something, it's now. Welcome back, Lord Protector. Thank you. There he is. Good boy, sir. Why, yes, I did have one. Corvo, you're back! Emily, hi. Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any wills? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. Do you have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay. Okay, here we go. Did you see any monsters while traveling to the other isles? My nanny says the big ocean's full of them. But I think she only says that to scare me. Let's 
see if you're still good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide! Here. Nope. Good try, though. What about here? Okay, you win. We should go now. Some other can see you too. Ugh. Later, will you give me more climbing lessons? Someday I'm going to climb up to the rooftop. In Dishonored 2, she does just that, in fact. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. Hmm. Resemblance looks close enough to me. Hey, Anton, what's up? I saw my improvements to the waterlock. Yes, they were quite well done. Hey, asshole, what's going on? It was a fool's errand, Corvo. The plague comes from inside us. We must all strengthen our faith. Mm. I, I suggest you read up on the germ I must theory ask you of to disease. Hold your pose. Should we gather mm -hmm. we'll see you in cigars tonight? Indeed, I believe so. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Good for you. Well, we will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo, two days early, full of surprises, as usual. Oh, fucked up your secret plan, did I? Follow me, Captain. Take me with you on a trip one day, please. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What news have you brought? Oh, nothing good. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Oh yes, wait, light here, child. Where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! Oh shit. Emily, Ooh. get behind me! Yes, yes, I know how to counter. Come on. Look out! Another one! Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here. No more. Not again. Oh Why? shit. No. Get away from her. Corvo. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Get away. Corvo. Oh fuck. 
Well, there's our whole day ruined. Corvo, it's all coming apart. Find, find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one. You'll know what to do, won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. You saw yes. that whole thing, he's bitch. Killed the Empress. I didn't do anything. What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Peg him. And we have a reason for the title, ladies and gents. <sighs> Excuse me. Come on, load for me. There we go. Six months have passed since you were accused by the royal spymaster of murdering the empress and conspiring to abduct her daughter, Emily, the royal heir. Now locked away in Coldridge Prison, the time of your execution draws near. Very this is your stick. final chance, Corvo. Sign the confession, and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. I've got nothing to confess to your line. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. Oh, well, I feel there so was much nothing better personal. about this whole thing. Even though you almost sank our plans, but it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time, and someone has to take the fall. You are going to get three feet of steel oh, oh. right up your ass. God, Take him back to his cell! You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Hint, hint. Let's go have a snack, shall we? We all start with something innocence, but the world leads us to guilt. Ah. Bread and an anonymous message. Corvo, who we are is irrelevant right now. Just know that we have faith in you. Here's the key to your cell. Once you're out, head for the prison's interrogation room. Take the explosive there and plant it on the outer door. When the bomb goes off, run. Make for the river and lose yourself in the sewers. You'll find some useful gear stashed there. One of the prison guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell. And good luck. We need you alive and well for what's to come. Signed, a friend. How very auspicious. Did you hear Morris was dragged off by the overseers for some black magic nonsense? Psh. How come so many people are coming to the execution tomorrow? It's on account of Corvo, the one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. So it's an occasion. Right. A social event for the High and Mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. They're as bad as us betting on the dogfights. Pretty much. Attention. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews. Unless... With the sword in hand, assassinate an unaware enemy by pressing R2 or approach an unaware enemy from behind and hold R1 to perform a non-lethal takedown. Using stealth in the non-lethal approach has benefits. Fewer rats and reapers, some people react favorably, and the final outcome is not as dark. By an officer of the watch, escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice.
why don't you take it a nice long nap? Hey, can I buy your ration of elixir from today? <laughs> doesn't notice that anything is wrong. Okay, may I? You never cease to amuse me. Press and hold L1 to open the quick access wheel, then press circle to drink a health potion. Okay, duly noted. The Hound Pit, Scudder versus Blackie. Wager on the most vicious hounds in the city as they rend one another by jaw and fang. Come to the pub known for the best ales and the freshest blood ox stew. No, thank you. Got some coins. Some kind of potted meat. Sounds disgusting. To the event and approved dignity. Hello, hello. <laughs> you on this chair here. Let you have your little nap. You deserve it after all your hard work. For this fascist state. The there. solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. This is where we were tortured. Okay. Audio log. Let's see what's on here. Corvo's unconscious again. Though he's taken more punishment than the two men we brought in for interrogation. That's because I'm When he wakes, we'll start again. Having him sign the confession for her murder isn't critical, but it might be useful to us later. The assassination of an empress. It's not a trivial matter. Duty officer's report. Corvo Otano, formerly the Royal Protector, we brought in for interrogation. This is of utmost importance. The Lord Regent and High Overseer Campbell will conduct the questioning themselves. Follow their orders without hesitation and keep the torturer under control. 
If Corvo dies at his hand, instead of getting the public execution the Lord Regent wants, it'll be your head that rolls next. Okay. Get ourselves a bomb over here. What every good revolutionary needs. Excerpt from a book on the esoteric practices of the Abbey. Once a child shows a proper inclination, he is marked. Overseers are assigned to study the subject surreptitiously in order to determine whether this inclination is supported by cosmological conditions and other signs ongoing throughout the year. At the end of the cycle, those befitting further testing are removed from their homes some hours before dawn and must begin the march to an outpost outside the city. There, the children undergo ritual preparation and evaluation until the last night of the month of rain, when they make a pilgrimage to Whitecliff. During an elaborate ceremony, it is determined which of the children will become overseers and which must be put down. Jesus Christ. Just in case we had any guilt about maybe having to kill these people. Ackworth, you lazy slug. Did you patrol the yard? Sorry, not yet. I was gonna report that boiler leak from yesterday. Forget it. Just do your rounds. The report's trouble for both of us. I'm moving. Attention. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews. Unless accompanied Did I tell you about the time I almost caught that guy who killed the Empress? Must be scheduled You're fucking lying. With one week's notice. <clears throat> if we can just sneak past both of these dudes. Bitch. Let me know if you want to gamble on the hounds again. Bug someone else. <coughs> Chill out over here. Take a nice little nap. I 
No, you don't. Fugitive, you have escaped Coldridge Prison with the help of hidden allies. If you can reach the Renhaven River, they promise to aid you in your next move. for booby traps. Could be some down here by the look of it. Good. Right. If we're lucky, one of them. Oh my fucking god. It's horrifying. No one will keep us from death. That's cheery. Nice little pick-me-up message there. Oh, fuck me. off here. Lazy asshole. Here you go, boys. Have yourselves a little snack. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Any evidence as to his whereabouts must be delivered to the City Watch at once. Let me jump over this thing, take our weapons back out. 
Because I think there's going to be some fuckers up ahead. To the Lord Protector. <laughs> Excuse me. Greetings, Corvo, or should I say Lord Protector, as you were known before that title was so wrongfully taken from you. We are servants of the Empire and of the true Empress, a group of loyalists who want very much to meet you. Take these weapons, crafted for you of the finest materials in the Isles, and meet with our man, Samuel, near where these tunnels spill into the Renhaven River. All haste and luck. We share a common purpose. Well, thanks, guys. I'm touched. Got us some clean clothes and everything. Press and hold L1 to open the quick access wheel. Select the gadget or power you want to equip in your left hand and release L1 to confirm. It's not a hotkey or weapon or power by selecting that item in the quick access wheel and pressing any direction on the control pad. Sleep darts, I think we'll equip those. We're at least trying to do a low chaos run. I cannot promise you how effective I'll be at that. He won't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take him out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? And try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Where's the other dude? I want to loot him too. Got ten coins off that guy. And now we're ready to head out onto the street. Nope. Or not. Anyone else out here? Yep. Shit, okay. What the point? What? Help, Mike! Stop! Watch out! Oh. Say so. I'm Samuel, and I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. Not like I have much choice at the moment, so we'll go with them. Overall chaos low. 
Not a perfect stealth run, but I'll take it. Hidden allies. Hidden in an old bar on the river. Your new allies have plans to share with you. Meet with the loyalist inner circle to learn what they've got in mind. This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose and he don't know a thing. <laughs> of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Halflock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. So it's starting at last, that night. We found our man. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. Yes. Not surprising. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard the story. Yes, I have. It still amazes me that someone could get to the Empress and young Lady Emily. No one knows the real story. We all have our suspicions. We'll know the truth in time. He's strong and quick. But I hope he understands subtlety as well. This isn't one of the I understand it well enough. The reality is that we need men killed. Have you ever killed a man? Only with my weight. But it's a fair point as always. He'll be here soon and I'm looking forward to meeting him. Well, you're about to get your wish. Hi there. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sounds, Sounds like a plan. You must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times. But his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Alrighty. I'll read the back of the bar. Apricot tartlet. Sounds delicious. I'll be crafting hey your weapons and gear. All custom work for you. I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This can 
cannot happen now the tank of whale oil's run out. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there's a terrible mess. Will do, guy. But not before I look around a little. Piero's request is denied. Piero, no, I will not sign off on these purchases. A bag of powdered crystal. Tyvian ore. What's wrong with the metals in crystal? King sparrow feathers. If you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. Maybe at the academy, everything you needed was paid for by tariff and handed out willy-nilly. But this is my bar, or what's left of it, and we're operating on a budget. We're running low on oil, food, elixir, building materials, and everything else. So you've got to slow down. While I'm footing the bill, I will not approve of your purchases unless they're absolutely required. No more copper wire or special herbs. If you need those things, go out and scavenge them. Half the city's in ruins, so no one's gonna miss any of the odd crap you seem to need. Admiral Havelock. A second solution. Excerpt from a series of newspaper articles from prominent natural philosophers by Piero Joplin. It is through no fault of my own that the average citizen's has citizen has expressed a preference for Sokolov's elixir over my own formula, sold as Piero's remedy, a name I did not choose if you must know the truth. The public has spoken its usual message of idiocy, spending their coin as a means of, select of selecting Sokolov's formula over mine, which I believe to be equal if not superior. Much has been made over the popularity of these concoctions as a means of resisting this remarkable new plague. I say remarkable because this strain works with an efficiency we have not seen in the history of the Empire. This plague, now making its way through the city of Dunwall, is unrivaled in its effectiveness. I have studied it within the blood of those so afflicted, and it is nearly perfect. Elegant, in fact. And while it is true that Piero's remedy and Sokolov's elixir are known to protect the body against the plague equally, my own has properties not fully understood which relate to the mind itself and the spirit, and it is in this way that my formula wins out. Here's where one should pay attention to this contest, for you see Sokolov's elixir with its emphasis on the brute animal body is a crass goo better suited for livestock. The subtle and secret variants in the key ingredients making up Piero's remedy ensure that it works on the higher functions that separate humankind from the mindless blue-jawed hagfish swimming in the Renhaven River. Well, he certainly has a high opinion of himself. counter responsibilities. Excerpt from a manual on new city watch procedures. Commissioned by the Lord Regent in the face of the growing plague crisis, the dead counter is a position that will only be given to officers, usually of junior and middle grades. In most matters of edict or curfew enforcement, these officers will defer to the acting officer on duty. However, any dead counter will have command in situations related to the plague and the handling of the dead, including those with late stage plague symptoms, called weepers in common parlance. Starting in the month of rain, interested officers may apply for the test, and if accepted, for the two-week training tour. Pay will be administered in coin and rations of elixir, and one in, at one and one-half normal pay grade. Failed Experiments, excerpts from a series of lectures on natural philosophy by Piero Joplin. Of course I've attempted to improve upon Sokolov's designs, of course, and why not? After all, it is likely that his thinking was influenced in some way by our time together at the Academy. We are all part of a community, striving to unknot the mysteries of the cosmos. Even those among us who possess the greatest minds are often led to a fruitful line of consideration by, how does one say it, our intellectual subordinates? Sokolov is no exception to this, despite the glamour, the glamour of genius he has cast over the aristocracy. And further, it is true that many of my experience, experiments have failed. No need to gossip about it behind my back in your social clubs and in the very chambers of the academy itself. Great ambition requires risks. You may laugh now at my door to nowhere, but someday you will not. Your children will likely see it as commonly as you see the electric lamps lighting our streets at night. But a few short years ago, you would have laughed at Sokolov's arc pylon or wall of light. Your laughter, your condescending smiles, they are nothing but evidence of your own limited imagination. 
whole vivisection, oh my. A whale vivisection. Excerpt from the notes of a natural philosopher aboard a whaling ship. Remarkably, each specimen I had the pleasure of studying during the voyage possessed some minor variants in physiology. On the second leg of the trip, east of Tivia, the crew hauled aboard a female, some 42-something or others in length. I estimate she weighed 35 tons, and the ship sat low, rocking side by side through the night with her thrashing. By candlelight, I took her apart, sketching and taking notes. Against her bellowing, I cut it in the mass of tentacles around her mouth. Within, I found a row upon row of teeth and a baleen running along the upper jaw. Through this broom-like structure, I assumed she filtered food from the water that was too small to be chewed. God, who could do that to a living being? Excerpt from the founder of the Greaves Whale House by Ebenezer Greaves. Out at sea, they secure the beast with hooks, with lines cast from the main ship and, w and with several smaller boats. Buoys keep the whale from diving deep. Once it is caught, a larger hook is driven through the tail, which is used to hoist the creature up through the chute. They moan and bellow for some time as the men get them onto the deck, then lift them onto the scaffolding overhead. The ship adjusts its prow and returns to the port in Dunwall, where the crew works on the great creature, slicing off the fittest parts while it still lives. What is wrong with these people? Sokolov no longer has the upper hand with regard to supplies of whale oil. The good admiral has paid for the installation of my own system, which will enable me to work in this place. The oil tank dispenser, when activated, will produce an empty vessel for filling. When the empty tank is held near the oil tank refill pump, the magnetic attractor should take the tank and lock it in the correct configuration. Using a lever will begin the refilling process. Once refilling is completed, the tank can be removed and placed in service. Extreme caution must be exercised in handling the tanks. They are quite unstable. The system is sound and well-engineered. It appears that the Greaves Oil Company has done something correctly for once. The Academy teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substance is developed. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities subject to the necessary legal amnesty. <laughs> nope. Now plug it in. Just get it near. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold cool. still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Lens out of the line. Yeah, you're kind of giving me tunnel vision here. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. All right, we'll do. Tell me what I can make for you. Buy some sleep bowls. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Let's go ahead and do that. Sleep well. Somewhere else. I think something's about to happen, guys. Hmm. 
Ooh, this is weird. Something's not right. Well, no shit. Objective marker. Hello, Corvo. Hi. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? Yep. The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. This guy seems perfectly I am the trustworthy. Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that men call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power. My gift to you. Come find me. Yep. I have nothing but optimism and warm, fuzzy feelings about this. Oh. Fallen letter. You cannot save her, you cannot save her, you cannot save her, you cannot save her. I think we get the idea. Vicious bitches. I'm going to murder you all. Emily's letter. Corvo, I am very sad. They say that you are dead like mother. But I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it. So please come for me if you can. Will do, darling. Framed us, making battle plans of some kind. Trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With oh, well, that is fucking we'll creepy. many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. Equipping the heart in your left hand helps you find bone charms or runes, even through walls. The heart beats and lights up when you're facing a bone charm or rune, and it beats faster as you get closer. The heart will whisper secrets so you can press L2 while targeting a person or location. All time is meaningless here. Not a sense, no centuries. Nothing matters. Nothing Commentary is making me feel better and better about having his mark on me. The one who walks here is all these. Freedom songs of comfort and love and smell of light. This is the place from which those who dabble in black arts draw their power. And this place is their doom. Fuck out of here. This 
place is the end of all things and of the beginning. Once you've collected some runes, open the journal and go to the powers section to exchange them for powers. Runes can be collected and used to acquire supernatural powers. Okay. Dark vision. See in the dark and see living beings through walls, including their fields of vision. Representations of the sounds that you make are also visible. Press L2 to see in the dark and reveal living beings through solid walls. You can also see their fields of view as well as the visual representations of the sounds that you make. Level 2 shows you important items through walls like security devices, weapons, ammo, coins, keys, or traps. That sounds very useful. Let's get it. How you use what I have given you falls upon you as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world. But know that I will be watching with great interest. Well, thank you, Satan. It's been real. Hidden in an old bar on the river, you know I have plans to share with you. Meet with the loyalist inner circle to learn what they've got in mind. I guess it wasn't a dream after all. Let's see all these goodies the outsider left for us. Bone charms provide small supernatural benefits. Locate them by listening to the song for the song they emit. By default, you can activate up to three at once in the bone charms section of the journal. Five hundred coins, a mystical fish artifact. Rumors and sightings, Dowd. Except from an overseer's covert field report. For over a year now, I've lived away from the Abbey. Without the company of my overseer brethren or the guidance of the blind sisters, the oracular order. Days have passed, with me sleeping in the dens of cut purses, murders, and worse. And the nights have seen me prowling through the worst alleys and wretched corners of Dunwall. I've taken my meals with killers. At times I have ventured beyond the city walls, meeting in forgotten graveyards and the outlying ruins frequented by those of ill means. My beard has grown long, and I wear the wither weathered clothing and bits of boiled leather fla f favored by the Bottle Street and Hatter gangs, and by those rough men and women who make their trade knifing others in return for coin. My hands have run red with blood, it's true, but I have selected my targets with care, choosing among those criminals and heretics who are not fit to live, executing them justly and using their deaths as a means of building my reputation. So far, this trick has allowed me to make my name among my murderous colleagues, without taking the lives of the innocent. My goal is singular. I must impress the assassin named Dowd in order to get close to him. Of all the practitioners of black magic we have tracked, none concern the Abbey as much as Dowd, it is said that his mother was a witch from one of the archipelagos off the Pandisian coast, taken captive by pirates venturing far from the isles. According to the legend, by the time the ship returned, the captain was dead and the witch controlled the crew, with Dowd still a shadow in her belly. The earliest stories tell of a gang killer without mercy, moving among the shopkeepers and city watch officers of Dunwall.